Ready. Are we recording? We're recording. All right. Hi, my name is Katie. I'm the social media manager. I'm Samantha. I'm the director. And we work at the Cattery. We Today have... we're going to talk about controversies. We don't know which one yet. Con- the, the whole thing is controversial, even what we're talking about. We don't even yeah. know. <laughs> cat, cat controversies. Cat controversies. I, I know what I want to talk about. All right. Start with first. that first. Which one? Um, about breeding. Oh, yeah. Because there's this is multifaceted. So purebred cats, people yes. get upset about that. Yeah. I am not completely upset about it. Really? Really. Let's hear about that. <laughs> because we are very good friends and have been since we were open two months when we met some cat show people. Also like 16 years. Yeah. Yeah. That's and they time. have been very big supporters and we go to the cat show every year and there's a household pet division and they pay for us to be in there and it gets us ex- exposure and it's just kind of fun. Yeah. Um. Those breeders, they love the breed. Mm -hmm. They're not, like, yes, they sell the cats because they're... They're breeding them. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That costs money to do that. Yeah, They're not making their living off of it. No. They're not exploiting anything. Right. Um, I I think it's cool to have breeds of cats. Definitely. Um, What I don't like is backyard breeders that are in it for a quick buck. Right. Exactly. There's a difference. There's a very, very big difference between those two things. There is. Yep. Um, Just the way they're treated, for one, like... Well, cash cows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Which is terrible. No, I I think I agree with you on that. That's... uh, I didn't really think about it that way, actually. Um, I think that being an animal rescue, you get kind of caught up in the whole, oh, breeders are bad thing. But... Is it still going? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Breeders are bad, but honestly, it's that's not necessarily true. And that's I know that's probably a controversial topic for a lot of shelters out there or rescues. Yeah. And you know, we go to the cat shelter every year and people that are close to me will message me and say, Really? We're at a cat show. Yep. And yeah. I have, I have to explain <laughs> it. Um But there there's just a big difference. Right, exactly. Especially like you get People that are breeding, like, you don't even know what you're getting, like, exactly. honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, and just, like, I think shel- most shelters take their cats back. Reputable reputable breeders always take their cats back. They're yes. microchipped. They're... Exactly. So if... Some of them force you to get your cat spayed and neutered also. The, the good ones spay them before they go. Even better. Yeah. So... <laughs> um. I would say most of the ones I know do that. Exactly. So also there's, and I don't know if dogs are different. Probably. I feel like, I feel like dogs and dog breeds, uh, the way that cats, like when you hear cat, you think of a cat, just any cat, but dogs, there's like a billion different breeds and all these pedigrees and, and same for cats, but dogs, it just feels a lot more important to a lot of people. Like, oh, I have a, I have a Weimaraner. It's like, all right. I've got a cat. I don't know what kind of cat it is. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, I just feel like with dog breeds, backyard breeding, I just feel like it's so much more saturated maybe in the dog world. Maybe that's just my limited view of it, but I don't know. Um, what I was going to say is I don't know if it's different with dogs, but they always say that, you know, shelters are full with mm. a high percentage of purebreds. I can tell you that the amount of purebreds that we have had is, <laughs> very tiny small yeah we've had like <laughs> two bangles in our 16 years right um we had two sphinx cats yep um and that's basically and we had one oriental and the breeder took that cat back awesome <laughs> that's so cool and it was like like a not a young cat either and really? the breeder still took it back that's awesome and he lived with her of course until that's so cute. He passed. That's we saw awesome. her at the last cat show. It was really sweet. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. I love um, that. So maybe, I I don't know dog statistics, but at least for cats, we don't see a lot of purebreds. No. Hardly ever. Okay. We have had a lot of um, cats that we've taken from hoarding situations mm-hmm. that are... I don't know what the people were doing, but (laughs) 
I think maybe they just got too, I don't even know if they did it on purpose, but it seems overwhelming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, like one, it was all gray cats and Siamese cats. What the heck? And I think it just happened. Like maybe <laughs> there was one at one time. I don't know. Or two. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's that. And the, the other breeding cat, like take spin off, I guess, of that is people that really want their cat or their children to experience the miracle of birth so oh. they want their cat to have a litter mm -mm. it's not really even about oh i think it's healthier for a cat to have at least one litter it's not even about that it's just about they want to go through the process of their cat birthing that's terrible babies i'm sorry and but that no. is terrible and this is going to go into another spinoff which is our status status quo answer i don't know if that's those are the right words um our answer to that has always been if you want to experience that why don't you ask a shelter to foster a pregnant cat oh that's awesome it's not awesome <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome it's not awesome because why are we letting pregnant cats have babies we're so overrun in the world in general with cats. There's so many freaking cats on the streets. Like, it sounds terrible. This is very controversial. Yeah, that's that's why I picked it. Abortion. Yeah. Yeah. Cat abortion. <laughs> Cat abortions. Um, I have seen so many comments from people who are like, "Oh, like my cat's my cat is pregnant already, so I can't get her spayed yet. But when when she has the babies, I'm like, Let's get it done now." Yeah, and then they call us murderers and yeah and things of that nature but that's not even why is a shelter who believes in keeping the population under control and trying to prevent deaths not spaying pregnant cats right and yeah. i know it sounds bad but if you let's say you're at a kill shelter mm -hmm. and you have a cat that's pregnant and you have six kittens that you have to put to sleep because you don't have room for, why are you going to put the pregnant cat that hasn't had the babies in foster care to have babies when you just put to sleep six babies? Exactly. It makes no sense. The space, yeah. Why so, valuing yeah. one life over another? Yeah, exactly. That's Not only that, but valuing weird ideals. <laughs> valuing I want to experience what? Experience what? Some something that unborn like the babies in that belly are only experiencing good feelings yeah. whereas the ones that are alive are mm. <laughs> <I'm gonna cry. laughs> they're in a shelter they're in a shelter they're scared they're like why aren't we prioritizing them exactly this 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 could go into another conversation, <laughs> but we're about animals here. Yeah, I, I was about to say. I was about to say. Ooh, I have some opinions on that too, but we're gonna we're not gonna go there. Um, no, totally. Uh, that is a really good point. <laughs> so I, your your child can experience the miracle of birth when they're old enough to birth a baby themselves. Exactly. Human baby. A human baby. Yeah. You don't need to see a cat do it or rent a video. I was gonna say YouTube. You ever heard of YouTube? <laughs> rent a video down at Blockbuster. Go on YouTube <laughs> like someone of this millennium. <laughs> I forgot I'm not in the 80s. Rent a video. <laughs> you guys heard of Redbox? <laughs> That's still out there. <laughs> I don't know if they have that though. Cat birthing video. <laughs> Your library probably you can rent a video from them. Maybe. I don't think you even have to rent it. You just borrow it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they have to, like, that's what I've, a I've totally been for. to a library before. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Renting is technically borrowing for money. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see, the, I see the difference there. Anyway, so, yeah, watch it on YouTube. Yeah. So, and also... Also, I don't, I can't pretend to know what a cat wants, but I cannot imagine a cat's like, I can't wait to grow up and have babies. <laughs> like, they're not thinking that. It's painful. It's traumatic. And yes, some of them are great mothers, but that's instinctual. It's not like. That's they a, grew up. Yeah, exactly. When they I were can't little wait to be kittens. a mom. 
Like, no. I'm going to grow up and be a mom in three months. <laughs> <laughs> three months? <laughs> Freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, and the, the funny thing is that you have the people that, I, I want my children to experience a miracle of birth. And guess what they're doing in eight weeks? Yeah. They're bringing them to a shelter. Yeah. Exactly. Like most of the people that say that don't even find them homes on their own. Or mm -hmm. they try and realize how hard it is. Yeah. yeah. It's so hard because there are so many and you just brought more into the world. Exactly. Thanks. And now you don't want to honor your commitment to that and you're trying to leave them at a shelter that's yep. over full. Yeah. So yeah, if your cat gets pregnant, just get her spayed. She should be spayed already. But if that happens, just get her spayed. Yep. That's our uh, opinion on abortion. <laughs> Cat abortion. Yeah. <laughs> um, you want to pick one more topic? Yeah. Katie put this on here and I didn't realize it was an issue. <laughs> <laughs> Catnip? Who has a problem with catnip? Yeah. Some people, it, I didn't know this either until I was getting comments like, I would never give my cat drugs. Well, hold on a second, sir. Catnip is not drugs. It's a plant. This is a whole nother topic in the human world. It's not a drug. It's not addictive. It doesn't hurt the cat. And it's, it's in everything. Like, how are you going to avoid catnip, really? Like, it's in almost every toy. It's in every cat bed. It's in every cat scratcher. It's everywhere. And it's safe for cats. It's fine. You don't have to be worried about it. Right? Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> like, right? You, you agree with me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sam like, comes what's... out, no, actually, catnip is... <laughs> catnip is terrible. It's horrible. It's harmful. It's a gateway drug. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat's going to be out in the corner trying to score some crack. <laughs> Give it some catnip. Kitty crack. Also called churu. <laughs> Or a laser light. Oh, a laser light. <laughs> you getting one of those lasers? <laughs> I need my fixer at meow. <laughs> you couldn't see me, but I was scratching my arms. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so catnip is not, it's fine. Don't be scared of it. It's not, it's not going to hurt your cat. I will say, though, you there is a limited amount your cat can, can experience. They can only feel the effects of catnip for 15 minutes, and then they're done for two hours. So... You yeah, give them more. Don't waste it. Yeah, don't give it all the catnip in one go. <laughs> Spread it out. <laughs> you know, just you don't have to do it all at once. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, that's one. That we, only took three minutes to talk about. You want to talk about something else? Sure. What else? Surprise me. I'll be surprised. Uh, why is there? This is another one. I'm not picking something that we're going to talk about for thirty minutes. Um, automated toys versus manual? Oh, How yeah. is that a controversy? Let me tell you. I tell you, a lot of these things I find out accidentally through comments on our TikTok. Well, I read the comments. And on, uh, well, some people are like, well, you really shouldn't use automated toys. You really need to use manual toys. Like, for example, laser lights. Like, people are like, you shouldn't use laser lights. Yeah, that's... Why? I don't know why. I, I hear people saying they don't catch it, so they feel bad. <laughs> Really? Did you ask your cat? That they they get um, like discouraged. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. So I I halfway agree. Like I think you should have a multi we should have multiple toys. You can't just rely on one toy. So, I mean, cats do they do get bored of toys. They get used to toys. They don't play with them as much. So you should just be switching them out. But I wouldn't go so far as to say don't use laser lights because it will make your cat feel bad about themselves. That is just so <laughs> silly. That's just so out there. <laughs> and you don't know that. I'll ask Dewey, but I'm pretty sure that Flex played with that oh, she laser that toy all the time. Oh, the, la no, the laser She did toy. get bored yeah. of it, though. Well, yeah, Over but time. it wasn't like she played with it and thought, <laughs> I man, suck. I suck. I'm never going to play with this again. <laughs> I suck. No. The next day when we turned it on, she was playing with it till she got bored. Yeah, she did get bored. We but switched it out for other It wasn't like it made her feel bad about herself. Right? <laughs> Dang it, I can never catch it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's it's okay to use laser lights. It's okay to use and, automated yeah, if, ones. If you're worried about that, just give them, <laughs> like, throw them a treat and they'll think they caught. There you go. It's fine. Exactly. Give That's them a, a treat. There you go. Yay, you did such a good job. Good job. You caught the treat. <laughs> 
after you played with a laser light for five hours. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, and, I'm, had, and had fun. Exactly. I'm all for automated toys. Um, of course, manual toys are also great. It's better for bonding with your cat if you guys are playing together. But and what other automated toys do people have an issue with? Um, honestly, I think it's more like the concept of you're not playing with your cat, a robot is, which is, <laughs> I wish you could see the look on Sam's face. <laughs> She's just like, hmm, <laughs> very interesting. People sometimes, I think they just have to have something to be upset oh, about. Oh, yes, completely. Like, who cares? Exactly. Relax. Like, we're not. Just because you have an automated toy doesn't mean you don't play with your cat. Right. I don't love it's my cat. I bought a, him a toy. Yeah. It's just a it's different. They're expensive. It's just a different toy for them to play with. Exactly. It gives them variety. Exactly. And variety isn't the spice of life, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you think? How, how are we doing? 16 minutes. That's good. That's you guys don't want to talk to us anymore anyway. Yeah, I think you're tired of us. We Let's... couldn't catch the light. I feel so discouraged we... now. Yeah. <laughs> The laser light. I'm so, so we... sad. I just want to experience the miracle of childbirth. Suck. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just want to experience the miracle of childbirth and have my catnip. <laughs> I can't run the other one. Oh, and read cats. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for listening. All right. Hopefully, you're still our friend after <laughs> these controversies. That if you you've disagree. About. Yeah. If you disagree, why? <laughs> We can still why. be friends if you disagree, I think. Yeah, it's maybe. Okay. It's okay to, uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> that's true. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> what you, you're like, no, I'm going to make my cat have 5,000 kittens. We are probably not going to be friends. Yeah, we you. might not be friends. No. <laughs> but, you know, for, for the most part. You're, you're like the evil villain to our shelter. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the answer to our hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, follow us all the places. <clears throat> yeah. Subscribe here on YouTube. We have things going up on YouTube. You should check them out. Yeah, we have lots of videos that are longer now that are just like cats playing. And, yeah, come chill with the cats. Yeah, uh, watch those because we're getting really upset about not being able to monetize YouTube because we post a lot of videos. And, yeah. Um, <clears throat> cats need it. The cats need your advertising dollars when you watch a YouTube <laughs> video and an ad shows up. Yes, exactly. Like right now, they're not getting anything for all the hard work they're putting in <laughs> to these videos, y'all. These poor cats are working so hard. Yeah. Like if they jumped in the box, they jumped out of the box, they got nothing. <laughs> I got the satisfaction of doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't put treats in their mouths, okay? No, it doesn't. It just gives them the warm butterflies. <laughs> Warm butterflies? Uh, <laughs> Whatever. Mind. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. No, we won't see you. We'll talk to you next we'll week. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. That was a Dan good. <laughs>